All right, hello, good morning. Hi. Okay, tell us your name and what, what are you teaching? So my name is Dorcas Hui. I teach at Cedar Lane Academy. I teach sixth grade, seventh grade, and eighth grade. All right, now I hear you're doing some awesome things with literacy and mm -hmm. math and even integrating some art. Tell us a little bit about the projects your students are doing. Yeah, so for one class, I had them create a graphing story project. So if you open it up, you can see a graph, a story that they create themselves, and a drawing that goes along with it. Very good. What did you notice about the students with this kind of project? I feel like with this specific content, they were able to understand it a lot more better mm -hmm. because my, to be honest, my students had trouble with algebra. So with this specific one, they were able to visualize a graph, create a story that connects to their own lives. Very mm -hmm. nice. Now you said that you provided them some graphs, but mm -hmm. you kind of motivated them to find their own graphs or make their own mm -hmm. graphs and tell a story. Mm -hmm. Did they prefer to find their own? I, they did. I gave them two examples mm -hmm. of the graph they can use, but if they don't use it, then I can give them extra credit. I think that also motivated them, but while they were doing it, they were just creating their own graph and it all worked out. And they were looking at the graph and trying to create a story along with it. So they were able to do that. Now, mm -hmm. one of the things, you know, a lot of students, mm -hmm. uh, you know, are finding difficulties sometimes expressing their ideas. Did you mm -hmm. notice them talking a lot more, collaborating, helping each other out? Oh, yes. They, I think they were all able to help each other. Mm -hmm. So I saw a lot of collaboration and I love this project. They were able to share each other, you know, hey, you should write about this topic, you mm -hmm. know, or this, um, yeah, this drawing, Do use this drawing. A mm -hmm. lot of collaboration going okay. on. There very is. nice, very mm -hmm. nice. And just looking around your room, yeah. you have lots of, you know, examples of, of math and integrating, mm -hmm. uh, even here in this wall, what do you have here? Oh, this here, I, for one of my classes here, I had them do a scale drawing. So they had to bring a picture of their own, mm -hmm. and then we, we did this together, draw straight lines, cover it in grids, and then they had to enlarge it. Very and they nice. had to draw it one box at a time. Oh, yeah. yes, and look mm -hmm. at this artwork. And they got to choose the picture that they wanted to do? Yes, they got to choose the picture they wanted to Very do. Very nice, this is amazing. All right. Okay, well, any uh, words uh, that you like to tell your teachers as they're doing, you know, working with kids with math and, and bringing in some art and literacy? Which of the, all these projects have you liked the most? Oh, there's so many. I think this <laughs> one would be my favorite. This mm. one would be my favorite. I just see them struggle a lot with math. I know it might be, it is challenging for mm -hmm. a lot of students, but with this one, they had so much fun while doing this. They're able to connect art as well. Yeah. With art, with math, all these stories, literacy, everything. Very nice. Thank you so much, Ms. Yeah, thank you.